Welcome. I'm Doris. I work at Tallinn University as a senior marketing specialist. Today, we're going to tell you about Tallinn University overall, about our study programs, admission requirements, and of course, student life. But first of all, where is Tallinn University? We are located in Estonia. Estonia is a really small country in Europe. As you can see on the map, our neighboring countries are Latvia, Russia, and across the bay, Finland. As I said, we are a small country. The area is only a bit more than 45,000 square kilometers. The capital city is Tallinn, so we are located in the capital city. The population of Estonia is only 1.3 million people. The currency here we use is Euro. The language is of course Estonian, but no worries. English is widely spoken as well Russian. We are the member of EU, Schengen area and NATO. And we are a e-society. We have honestly Wi-Fi access almost everywhere. We have here e-voting, e-residency, name it. But about Tallinn University. We are the largest university of humanities and social sciences in Tallinn and the third biggest public university in Estonia. Tallinn University was established in 2005 and named as Tallinn University. But actually the history of the university dates back even to the beginning of the 20th century. But in 2005, different units that were in Tallinn were merged into one and named as Tallinn University. What's interesting about the university is that we have the longest traditions of teacher training, yet one of the most modern film and media schools that exist side by side. At the moment, we are located in TV studio, for example. Our university has a unique, innovative and interdisciplinary programs. Interdisciplinary means across disciplines. Uh, later on, you're going to hear about the study programs. We have a new campus in the city center. Everything is close by. The harbor is close by, airport, bus station, the old town that belongs to the UNESCO heritage is close by. And we even have a branch in Helsinki where we teach law. We have prominent scientists and lecturers. All our professors are really experts in their field. We rank in world top 250 in sociology studies. We believe in individual approach to students. By that, I mean our courses are rather small, so the students always can approach the professor, discuss different matters with the professors, with the course mates. And here we have a creative and free environment. We have five fo broad focus fields at universities. All the research, everything, all the teaching is done in those five broad focus fields, which are healthy and sustainable lifestyle, society and open governance, digital and media culture, educational innovation, and cultural competences. Of course, what's important to university is student life as well. We have about 7,500 students studying with us, among whom around 900 are international students. About the student life, we have here different uh, organizations. We have our own cafe, photo club, sports clubs, basketball, volleyball club, culture club, international club that organizes events for international students, ESN for exchange students, even our own childcare. And you as a student, of course, can always take part of different events the organizations uh, organize or be part of the clubs. Additionally to the degree programs, we offer short courses here. One option to participate in our short courses in, is international summer school. The summer school will take place in July from 9th to 27th. There are about 25 different courses in various fields, language courses, creative courses, different workshops, etc. And a lot of the courses are connected to our degree programs as well. During the summer school, we have here around 300 participants. About 85% are from foreign countries. We also offer scholarships in our summer school. And last but not least, of course, what we offer is exciting cultural program. So the participants can visit museums in Tallinn, go to field trips outside of Tallinn to discover Estonia. If you're interested in the short courses, you can go to summerschool.tlu.ee and register to a course you like the most. 
counterpart is International Winter School. The Winter School will take place in January to 7 to 25, 2019. There are about five to seven different courses, but of course, cultural program. You can read more at winterschool.tlu.ee. But how does the campus here look like? What I suggest you to do is to visit our virtual tour at virtualtour.tlu.ee. There you can go and look around and see what kind of cool rooms and facilities we have here. So now about the general admission requirements. Step one, what's really important, you need to apply online at estonia.dreamapply.com. Then you need to submit the written part of the admission exam. You can see from, so you can see it from the program specific requirements. Then you need to pay the application fee, which is 80 euros. Also, please check country specific requirements at TLU dot ee slash country specific. In case you're not able to submit your documents by the requested deadline, then please contact our admission specialist at admissions at tlu dot ee and discuss with them. What are the options? Step two, you need to prove your English proficiency if you want to study here. You need to have English at least on B2 level. You can prove your English with well-known tests as Yale, TOEFL, Cambridge exam and so on. Or you can do the Tally University English language exam as well. But please go to our website and read more about the English proficiency. There are as well something you, some, some things you need to keep in mind according to country. Step three, wait for initial feedback from the admission specialist. If the documents are sufficient and you receive a positive feedback from the written part, you will be asked to do the admission interview via Skype, so no need to come to Estonia for that, of course. If everything is okay, you are asked to send by post your application cover from DreamApply and required educational documents. And then if everything is okay, a successful candidate will be informed by the positive decision via online application system. But now what's really important, the deadlines. For non-EU EA applicants, except now the applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia, the deadline from submitting the application online is 1st of April, but sending your documents by post is 20th of April. So keep in mind those deadlines. Now applicants from Turkey, Russia, Ukraine and Georgia. The deadline for submitting application is 1st of June and sending your documents by post 20th of June. For EU EEA citizens, you have a bit more time. Submitting your application is 1st of July and sending documents by post 15th of July. And now for Finnish and Latvian citizens who have obtained general secondary education in Finland or in Latvia for BA level programs, except now the audiovisual media program. The deadline for submitting application is 15th of August and sending your documents 24th of August. And when does the study start? For our international students, it's really important the last week of August, which is the orientation week. There you can get all the information about, uh, about studying here, about their study systems and so on. And the study start in the first week of September. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alessandro. I'm from Italy and I'm a senior student of communication management here at Tallinn University. The Master in Communication Management is uh, offered by the Baltic Film, Media, Art and Communication School here at Tallinn University. It's a two years master program and usually seminars and lectures are from 5 p.m. and on Saturdays. And this allows you to both work and study at the same time. The cost of the master is 1,800 euros per semester and the program focuses on di different uh, paths of communication management. Why communication management? This master prepares students for competent professional interaction and by teaching uh, uh, some language skills and some other abilities to be innovative and to handle specific professional tasks in the wider context of culture and society. 
and also to deal with complicated situations in accordance to norm and values of society. This master's also teaches you um, to conduct research in the field of communication management and to apply the results of this research in real life challenges. What are the career perspectives after graduating in communication management? So you can work in positions that require, require high communication management competences in multicultural and quickly developing environments. But it also prepares skilled specialists in communication management that can work in uh, governmental institutions on both national and international level, such as the EU. And it also uh, prepares uh, for uh, academic um, research, uh, interdisciplinary project and cooperation projects. What are the program outline of the Master in Communication Management? So the master uh, provides systematic knowledge uh, of modern communication theories, methods and, applica and applications. It also analyzes in depth the role of communication and helps to explain how, um, the, the, role, the um, process of communication. And the different subjects offered uh, by this master course uh, give different perspectives, modes and means of communication. The program is structured in four modules. The first module is an interdisciplinary project. Then there is a main field of study, which includes also a focus on intercultural communication subjects. Then there is an elective module and master thesis. One of the requirements to uh, start studying communication management at Tallinn University is to have a bachelor degree in any field of study. But for who's that uh, doesn't have a bachelor in communication or related field, it's compulsory to pass a leveling module, uh, which is um, two subjects that you can uh, do in your first year, and it's organizational communication and public relation theory, and this can be part of your electives, so it's easy, easily doable during your master studies. Communication Management uh, Master Program is part of the European Masters in Intercultural Communication, which is a network of nine European universities in different countries, such as Germany, UK, France, Finland, Portugal, Italy, the Netherlands, and Estonia. Uh, the core of this network is the yearly Eurocampus. The Eurocampus is a four-month intensive program taught by professors coming from the uh, network universities in which students uh, from um, each university, up to five students for each university, can take part. During this intensive uh, program, students can learn uh, about intercultural communication theories uh, and also can see intercultural communication from perspective of different disciplines. And they also have chance to acquire advanced intercultural competences, uh, skills, and um, this can be helpful in both professional and social life. The Eurocampus uh, has been uh, held in uh, 2016 in Tallinn, Estonia, and in 2017 in Urbino, Italy. Next year, in, in this year, uh, in, in autumn, uh, it will uh, start, it will take part in Coimbra, Portugal. The head of Communication Management uh, Master Program is uh, Professor Anastasia Zabroskaya, and don't hesitate to contact her by email to ask about uh, requirements or program-specific uh, questions. To summarize, uh, I would like uh, to say that if you uh, are interested in communication management and if you have a passion for intercultural communication, the Master in Communication Management uh, can offer you um, offers you a very um, good environment also because there are uh, professors uh, uh, that are highly prepared and they are both national and international level and also classes are very multicultural. Now we leave the floor to Rio Vestric.
Hello, my name is Riho Westrick. I am the curator of the documentary master program. This is a two-year program, uh, which is focusing on creative documentary. When I'm uh, talking about creative documentary, I mean something that is a little bit different from those factual-based uh, documentary programs that you see around in the television or in uh, internet platforms. When I'm talking about uh, creative documentary, I mean, uh, first of all, author films, which we also tend to say that I, they are part of film art. Documentary, that is part of film art. This is what we did here. Our uh, curricula is partly integrated with uh, visual anthropology. So it means that uh, visual anthropology students come to our directing and uh, basic courses and uh, documentary students take some methodological courses from visual anthropology. And uh, we have international study group. We have students uh, basically all over the world. We have had students from Japan, Thailand, China, if you look to the Asian side, Turkey, European Union, of course, our neighboring countries, Latvia, Finland, first of all, and of course, locals, Estonians. This is great advantage to have such a rich variety of, uh, of nationalities. What happens with our alumni when they graduate this master course? First of all, of course, uh, we hope that uh, people become uh, documentary directors, but uh, the field is not that wide. Sometimes you need to find also neighboring professions. So our uh, alumni have uh, very successfully been working as managers of the festival and also as a teachers of documentary. But of course, first of all, you become a documentary filmmaker and the ultimate goal should be documentary films in your future life. Uh, a little bit about the study outlines. In the first semester, we give basic uh, skills on main technical areas, such like uh, camera, sound, editing, and also dramaturgy. Um, then we also open the documentary concept, because this differs quite a lot from the, the, the general film concept. And uh, we, we also go deeper. What does it mean to direct documentary, to work with characters, with real people, with real life ethics, all these things. Uh, our uh, main courses are directing courses every semester has includes uh, directing and uh, besides the uh, hands-on assignments that we do during the semester we have at the end of every semester we have a semester film during the first semester you will be doing observational short documentary with a limited dialogue during second semester, we take you to quite uh, complicated conditions. We take you to the rehabilitation center in order to find your own team or subject there. And at the end of the semester, you come with with a film, which is very, I can say, deep and serious. And uh, third semester, we deal with uh, first-person filmmaking or self-reflexive filmmaking, which is very important for the documentary filmmaker because you then look to the inside of yourself and also understand what does it mean to be a character on the screen in the documentary because you will be dealing with the other people and this gives you good understanding what does it mean. So our main teachers uh, is Besides me is Kersti Wibo. She's a long experienced documentary filmmaker herself, graduated from London School of Film and Television. 
uh, she is uh, teaching uh, partly directing for the all different documentary concepts and master classes. Then we have Jarmo Valgola. He is a film scientist. He will cover uh, most of the theoretical part that we have. And then myself. I'm also a pra practicing filmmaker with experience over 20 years. I've produced over 40 documentaries and directed half of them. So besides them, of course, we have uh, other people to teach you camera, sound, etc. But these here are the core stuff whom you will deal when you come to our school. So what would we expect from you? Most of all, we expect that you have great interest of dealing with human beings, of human spirits, curiosity, of course. But um, practically, you should uh, present us your creative portfolio, which basically can be anything that proves your creativity. If you have done some films, that's good. If you have done some drawings or composed some music piece, also good. So whatever can uh, prove your creativity is good. And also, um, you need to write your motivation letter for us. Um, filmmaking, especially documentary filmmaking, is uh, great networking. Your whole life uh, will be networking. So we start building up your network here during this master course. First of all, we do some overlapping courses, as I said already, with visual anthropology students. And this provides us a uh, different view. They bring different values to our classroom. And you, on your side, you, you can bring different values to them. And as a result, you already build up your own network for the future. And we also try to make common courses with uh, students of film department. And particularly, we have a common course on editing documentary, where the professional or future professional editors from film department will come and help you to edit your documentary. Here are the contacts. So any, any questions, uh, you can always approach us via email and you can also check what we are doing in uh, the Facebook site of our documentary master program. Here I thank you and uh, give the floor back to Doris. Thank you for attention. So, you heard about the study program, but if you want to come and study here in Estonia, accommodation is really important, of course, as well. Tallinn University has its own dormitory. It's just around the corner of our uh, main campus, and there are double rooms for the price of 150 euros. Here you can see a photo of the Tallinn University dormitory. There are two other dorms, G4S dormitory. There are double and single rooms for the price of 217 and 434 euros. And Deco dormitory where there are double and single rooms as well for the price of 150 and 300 euros. Of course, what other students do, they rent an apartment as well by themselves, with their course mates, with their friends. And like in every city, the prices vary a lot. It depends on the location, on the apartment and so on. Our students say that they can handle approximately with 300 up to 500 euros per month. That does not include the accommodation, of course. Here are just a few examples of the prices we have here. Student meals, three up to seven euros. The public transportation, it is free of charge for the residents of Tallinn. Theater tickets, 12 to 18. Concert tickets, 8 to 30. And so on. Just a few examples for you. A lot of our applicants ask, if they can work during the studies? The answer is yes, you can work, but you need to keep in mind that working cannot interfere your studies. You still need to complete the required credit points. If you want to know more about the working in Estonia, you can go to workinestonia.com. 
But what next? Where to start now? First of all, of course, go to our webpage at tlu.ee slash admissions, where you can see all the necessary information about the application procedure, English proficiency, read more about the study programs and so on. In case you have any questions regarding the admission process, feel free to turn to our admission specialists at admissions at tlu.ee. They are more than happy to help. Another thing what I suggest you to do, if you want to know more about the student life here in Estonia, in Tallinn, the Tallinn University, you can always turn to our student ambassadors. Student ambassadors represent different countries, different programs. You can go to tlu.ee slash ambassadors and there you can find their contacts. You can write to them, ask any questions and as well they are more than happy to help and answer. Last but not least, I suggest you to follow us in social media to keep up with our latest doings. In Facebook, you can find us when you type in Tallinn University. And there, uh, there is a group called Admissions 2018-2019. You can join the group and get information about this year's admission process there as well. But thank you from my side and hopefully we will meet you in Tallinn.